Hey family, welcome to The Hub. excited, right? I got my Be Kind t-shirt on. Be kind. I got my Be Kind t-shirt on today because um, we got another letter in from my Ask Coach Cast. And I'm excited that you guys are taking this on and sending in letters. Yes. So I heard from Samantha and I want to read you this letter. And if you want to make sure that you get your letter into me, please DM me on social media at Inspire Many. Inspire, I-N-S-P-I-R-E-M-A-N-Y. Hit me up on Instagram. Put it in the DM, okay? All right. Send me an email too. Here we go. Dear Coach Cass, I've been seeing a guy for a few months. I really like him, but he never takes me out on dates. Does it? really do the flowers thing. I never met his friends or family. Nobody knows I exist. I keep telling myself that if I didn't want to be, if he didn't want to be with me, he'd find somebody else to spend his time with. Mm. He's smart, successful, good looking. He could have any woman he wants, but I know at times I feel so distant from his life. Hidden. Should I hold out for hope? Or am I just wasting my time, Samantha? What do y'all think? I want y'all to tweet me, Instagram me right now. What do you think? Should Samantha leave or should she stay? Should she stay or should she go? Which one should she do? I'll give you a couple more seconds. Girl, it's time to go. <laughs> hey, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. If you didn't listen to my last episode with Vince, you definitely need to. Because when a man is ready to proclaim you, he will. When he's ready to profess his love for you, he will. And if you feel this gut instinct of being hidden, that's not a good place to be. My issue is, and I tell my clients and the members of the Real Love Network so often, it is a problem when you date in a silo. And what does dating in a silo look like? You and he go to dinner. You and he go to the park. You and he do whatever. Like It's literally just the two of you always doing everything. Months pass, maybe years, and you've only been wrapped up in each other. Guess what? There's other people in your life. And if you don't include those other people into your life, what does that say about you, right? No man and no woman is an island onto themselves. And I remember with Andy, I did something different. I said to myself, you know what? I'm not just going to get wrapped up in this person because how often have you or maybe your cousin dated someone and everybody in your family is like, mm-mm, mm-mm right? And then they don't listen. I'm not going to say you, they don't listen. And then years down the line, it doesn't work out. And everybody's like, see, I told you, I told you that wasn't no good. And the person says, you're right. How many people do you know that have married someone knowing that that's not the person for them? Listen to me. You have your VIP. There's a VIP row in your life of friends or family members. Your VIP should know, should be a part of this courting process. I'm not saying everybody out in that atmosphere, everybody, your life is an audience, but there's this VIP row that should know who you're dealing with, right? So if you've been dealing with someone for a certain amount of time and they haven't introduced you to friends, family, their best friend, their cousin, you haven't even talked on the phone with their mama, mm girlfriend. And a part of me thinks that you're less, you're thinking that you're less than. And the reason I say that is specifically, you said he could have any woman he wants. So a part of you is feeling like you're lucky to be with this guy. Girlfriend, you are a treasure. You are the prize. Okay. You are absolutely, yes, he could be a prize too. That doesn't take away from him, but you can have any man that you want. I don't want you to hang on to somebody just because you feel like they could get anybody and they chose little old you. No, baby, you do the choosing too, right? And so if you and your gut don't feel 
celebrated. You don't feel elevated. You don't feel like the queen that you are. Sister friend, this may not be the situation for you. Now, this could be an open conversation of, I would love to meet so-and-so. And you talk about your brothers. When can I meet them? I'd love to kick it with your brothers. Throw them in there, right? Oh, you're going to the so-and-so. Can I come with, right? So yeah, if y'all been talking for a few months, listen, honey, now it's time to just be bold. Invite yourself. Now, if he says, no, thank you, or every single time he's making an excuse of why you can't attend, pay attention to that, right? So give him, give him to, to, to just prove to himself or prove to you, like, listen, are you open to me meeting your folks? And then you can have that open conversation. Your people. When I started dating my husband, I want to say like our second date was my stepmom's birthday party. And I introduced him as a friend, like, oh, this is my friend, Andy, right? You're like, mm-hmm, friend, right? And so I just had him at different things that were going on, right? Like, it just was what it was. Like, I just wanted my people to see him. Like, is this, you know, good stuff, right? And on the other side, he had me around his people, right? His cousins and stuff. After a while, it was his cousins and his brother that said, okay, so what are y'all? Y'all going to enter this relationship or what? It's been three months. They were the ones applying the pressure of what are you guys doing in this world? Because they, they love seeing us together, right? Really and truly. So when we start to look at these things, we got to say, okay, I'm not meeting any of his people. Is this all right? After a few months? No. And no, I, I, I wouldn't say repeat what I did in terms of introducing to your people, right? So as the woman, I need you to meet his people first, right? Who are his people? Who all, who all is there? Who all is at the party at this table? Who does he spend his time with? And if you can't see that, who are his strong friends? Who are the men that he has in his life that he's listening to? If you can't be privy to that information, then you shouldn't be exclusive with this person, right? What, what, what made it okay to be exclusive with this man that you, you don't even know what he's doing in his spare time? I'll tell you. These are things to think about, Samantha. And for every woman listening in, right? Who all is going to be there? Who all is in his life? Have you spoken to them? Do you know them? And you still take them with a grain of salt because listen, I got a cousin. We met a girlfriend every weekend and we say, oh, hi. <laughs> right? So we don't necessarily want to equate meeting the parents or the friends or the family as, oh, this is my husband. It's just a part of the dating process. This is just the vetting process, right? We're just... We're just having conversations, seeing what's going on here. Do you like his people? Because these are the people that would eventually be in your life all the time if these this was your husband, right? So can you stand these people? <laughs> Does he stick up for you around these people? Does he have your back? Do you enjoy their company? Listen to me. I can be left alone with any of my husband's cousins and have a ball, right? We have a great time. So what do you desire to enter? I invite you one to look in the mirror and say, I am enough. I am enough. He is lucky to have me. I can have any man that I want. And I choose blank. Do you choose him? Do you choose yourself? And if you choose yourself, be honest. How do you feel about this? And be honest with how you feel by saying something. Right? Say something, girl. Say something. Now, this relationship may not last. <laughs> and that's okay. Because at the end of the day, we only want to be with someone that is open enough to share us with his world that celebrates us, that is so excited to introduce us because they value us, right? Listen, the way he values you does not mean your value goes up or down, right? Your worth is far more than Ruby's girlfriend. Listen to me, okay? Your worth is far more than Ruby's. You do not need a man to, to verify, validate, or any of those, or identify those things. I'm just saying, does he value you enough? That doesn't have anything to do with who you are as a woman. But if he can't see the value, listen, one man's trash is another man's treasure, girl, and you are a treasure, okay? So if he is not treating you as such, this may not be the situation you need to be in. You do not need a man. It's nice to be in a great relationship where you value each other and are excited about each other to share with the world. So that's my two cents for you, Samantha. If you're like Samantha and listen, this has been helpful for you, send me a DM.
Okay, give me a shout out on IG stories. Let me know, okay? And if you have a situation of your own that you'd like some feedback about, mm, come on, send me an email, coach at inspiremany.com. Until next time, y'all, keep loving, keep laughing, keep living.